Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of import and further processing of an Atlantis Core file in the CEREC software. This video will take us through all relevant phases and steps, from the administration phase to the manufacture phase. After we have ordered an Atlantis Core file from the Atlantis Web Order page and downloaded the right format for importing into the CEREC software, we then open the CEREC software. For the import, you will need a DXD file. In our case, this has been saved to the desktop. There are two ways to import. We move the cursor to the upper edge of the screen of the CEREC user interface so that the system menu will open and click Import. The CEREC software will take you directly to your drives. Select the respective storage location and DXD file, then click Open. Alternatively, you can first navigate to the storage location of the DXD file, then import it into the CEREC software via drag and drop. Now the case is opened, but it hasn't been saved yet. The patient name of the imported core file is always displayed with the abbreviation AT, followed by the case number. In the Case Details window, we check the restoration type first, then the design mode. The recommended restoration type is Crown, with the design mode Biogeneric Individual. We determine the grinding and milling unit, and confirm our selection by clicking the check mark. Then we save the case by reopening the system menu, where we select the option Save As this time. In our case, the patient has already been created in the database, and we're adding a new case for this patient. At this point, you have the option of giving the case a unique name. We delete the last numbers and add the name Core File. Finally, we save the case by clicking the check mark. We expand the software to full view and start the subsequent processing of the data. Since the model data are transmitted with the Atlantis Core file, we skip the acquisition phase and proceed with the model phase. In the model phase, we check and, if required, correct the settings of the model axes and move on to the draw margin step. The margin line was automatically transmitted with the core file, and we turn our attention to the patient individual Atlantis abutment, which cannot be manipulated in the CEREC software. All further steps in the model phase are not relevant for this workflow. Therefore, we switch to the next phase, the design phase. Based on the Biogeneric Individual Design Mode, the CEREC software has now calculated a design proposal, which we will now look at from different angles. The restoration can be modified using the familiar tools and options available in the side panel. With the help of these tools, you can rework the morphology of the restoration and also show or hide the respective jaws by activating the Display Objects option. In our case, we will make no further adjustments and move on to the last phase, Manufacture, by clicking the double arrow. In this phase, you can use the tools to correct the location of the sprue or realign the position of the restoration within the block. In the window, under Manufacture, you can make further modifications. To begin the manufacturing process, we click Start. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.